Hey, what's up, guys? Um, it's been about four or five months since I bought Spitula, so I figured I uh, leave another kind of feedback and review on how it's been so far. Um, and uh, I've been getting a lot of requests on by people who use Spitula Pro and got screwed. <laughs> um, and they want, and also got a few messages saying that, hey, can you find any alternatives or what you used to do before that? Um, so that's why I wanted to do this video. Um, so let's first start with my experience been it's uh, it's been four months and uh, to me it's been a workhorse um, and I've been using it pretty much every month as you can see just this month I've done about 51,000 characters and then and knocked out about 15 videos so far um, and I, I only use two voices I'm mostly American Billy Joe or um, like the lady uh, Rosie or in some cases Henry too and, and by the way, I only have the basic package. I do not have the Pro, or, or I have not upgraded any of the Pro uh, options at this point because I haven't been using it or I don't need it because um, I kind of use other tools too. So I tend to use the audio from here and then mix it up with other ones over there. And voila, job is done for me. Um, and that being said, um, so far it's been pretty robust tool um, there are a few bugs and glitches in here um, for example there, there are a few cases where they can tend to omit the words in there um, and I've, I've already showed you an example how to use this video so I'm not gonna do that in this uh, video as well uh, so I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is um, share with you guys a couple of things that I've noticed which is kind of Pain in the butt. Um, so for example, the background music. If you want to uh, add a background music to your audio, um, you know that's uh, as you can see. There's some glitches, like I mentioned. Um, you need to download this um, playlist that they have. Uh, it's a pretty decent playlist, but in order to add it to it, you have to have an upgrade pro um, version to it, which you know I don't really care. Uh, so I. You know, I, I just bring in the video from here um, or audio from here and add it to my video and uh, whatever tool I'm using as background music as well. Um, another thing, like I said, a few words here and there to just get omitted for some reason. Um, I'm not sure why they do it, but uh, that sometimes, like if I say, um, you know, call this now for a quick online quote or something like that. So quote's going to be eliminated. Um, and that, that's kind of annoying. I just tend to switch the sentence at that point and get on with it. Um, so overall, uh, not bad. But, but however, like people have been asking, what are the alternatives? Because some of them had bought the, video, uh, the software and upgraded in there. Not so happy. But if you're still in the same boat, um, like I said, uh, I usually used to do where uh, fiber gigs, these are a little bit expensive, but they're really good quality. Um, you know, Rick was one of the guys I used to use, as well as John. Um, they do a pretty, really good job, um, as well as uh, uh, Natasha. I can throw these links um, in our uh, in the description box if you guys want to uh, take a look at it. But however, before that, I um, I used to use something called Watson uh, from IBM Watson. Uh, it's their proprietary text to speech speech software, and the quality of this is absolutely amazing. Uh, I mean, you know, Speechless doesn't even compare to what these guys can pull up, and they've got all kinds of languages, um, you know, voices, and every 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 uh, imaginable way you can think about. Like, and and, and 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 you know, not just American English, but you know, also you got British English, um, Spanish, Chinese, uh, French, German, you know, Italian, Korean, etc. And the um, beauty about this software is it's free. Um, you get 10,000 characters a month, and uh, anything above that, it costs you two cents per thousand characters, which is basically nothing. Um, and, and check out the quality, too. Conscious of its spiritual and moral heritage, the union is founded on the indivisible, universal values of human dignity, freedom, equality, and solidarity. It is based on the principles of democracy and the rule of law. It places the individual at the heart of its activities by establishing the citizenship of the union and by creating an area of freedom, security, and justice. You see the the quality in the voice, and I'm gonna add the same thing to. 
speech alone, you'll see the difference. It's night and day. Uh, and again, um, let's see, where's Rosie? I'm just to use serious tone, AI, um, generator voice. Uh, normally, a little bit of uh, quotation and punctuation would do a good job here, but let's. Conscious of its spiritual and moral heritage, the union is founded on the indivisible, universal values of human dignity, freedom, equality, and solidarity. It is based on the principles of democracy and the rule of law. It places the individual at the heart of its activities by establishing the citizenship of the union and by creating an area of freedom, security, and justice. You see what I mean? It, the, the quality is eh, but IBM Watson quality is just insane. Um, and I can show you some other you know, voices too. You've got Emily, which is American. Conscious of its spiritual and moral heritage, the union is founded on the indivisible, universal values of human dignity, freedom, equality, and solidarity. It is based. And I've got, um, let's see, Olivia. Conscious of its spiritual and moral heritage, the union is founded on the indivisible, universal values of human dignity, freedom, equality, and solidarity. As you can see, there's, there's a night and day difference between uh, Speechalo and Watson. Um, so if you're asking the question, why the hell am I not using all this this Watson every single time? It's simple. The learning curve, as well as technical details on Watson is a pain in the butt. Um, and that's one of the reasons I got last week, uh, or Speechalo. Uh, once you sign up for IBM, you get all these technical um, details and how to work it and whatnot if you want to incorporate it into APIs and all that technical stuff here um, and you need to go through them and understand and as you can see this is just a paragraph of information about whatever content you're going to add uh, but here's the real you know devils in the details so to speak um, each the whole thing has a break time of uh, 300 milliseconds as well as a specific uh, words um, you know the rate it needs to be worked at as well as when it needs to stop, when it needs to speed up. Um, each and every technical detail has been defined, and and that's the only reason why you're, you know, the text is sounding so great on Watson. And it is because, um, you know, technicality-wise, um, you need this kind of stuff. So I personally don't like, like, like I showed you, I've cranked out about 52,000 characters this month, and I don't want to come back here with about 1,000 characters in here and go through it individually and code it. Um, and that's one of the reasons I tend to not um, use Watson anymore. But this is your one of the free alternatives, so I highly recommend it um, if you are you know don't want to use Speechalo and uh, just want to use Watson at that point. Um, let me give you an example on how I use it. Like as you can, as, so, as you saw, this is um, Speechalo. Uh, if if you want to get more information on how do you how I use it, just check out the video. In my description um, but let me use Watson in this case so let's just go with this hello I'm trying to use IBM Watson for text-to-speech demo okay so I want to show you some new watches here um, as you saw Watson is W I'm gonna drop it down and I'm gonna drop to IBM capital I'm gonna make text-to-speech capital here with a little bit of uh, Um, let's see. Hello, I'm trying to use Ibn Watson for text-to-speech demo. You see what happened? If you doesn't have proper um, punctuations in the right place with respect to Watson, um, it tends to... Um, not Hello, place. I'm trying to use IBM Watson for text-to-speech demo. So you need to be aware of that. There's just like a really steep learning curve on this one. That's one of the reasons I don't use it. But once you get it, all you have to do is uh, run the text once, and then you click the right click on here, and then save audio as MPG. Great. Once it's there, I'm gonna go to whatever software. In this case, I'm gonna use Doodly. Um, oh, um, I'll use the old guy. Throw it on there. Demo.
tester, continue, this tester, so I'm going to throw the voice here, boom, um, and I can set background music, uh, you know, if I want, I usually add it over here, and that's, uh, Hello, I'm trying to use IBM Watson for text-to-speech demo. Boom. Just like that, you got yourself a video explainer um, for your whatever purposes you want to use. So, um, that being said, do I still recommend SpeechOil? Uh, absolutely. Um, if you're using basic package like I am, I paid $47 and I've... <laughs> Like I said, I've, I've done about 15 videos so far this month, and uh, I've saved quite a bit of money on that. So I would definitely still recommend SpeechOil mainly because I don't have to worry about the nuances in the text like the Watson. Um, I just go add pause, boom, done. Um, if I have it over here, just add a three-second pause and add just the speed a little bit faster, slower. So it all comes down to ease of use. So I definitely still use it. Um, and if you still want to, you know, go ahead. If 